Hi! You may have already seen videos on our load cells, interfaces, and software. This video will introduce you to an important service we offer. Calibration. Let us take a look at, what is calibration? Why do sensors need to be calibrated? And what tools we need to calibrate the sensors? Load cells are transducers made using strain gauges. Strain gauges operate on the piezo-resistive principle. These load cells change resistance in response to applied loads. This change in voltage can be used to measure applied loads. Load cells are made by bonding strain gauges to an elastic member. When a load is applied, the elastic member bends, feels the compressive or tensile stresses, and changes its resistance. Multiple strain gauges are arranged in a pattern called the Wheatstone Bridge Network. When a voltage is supplied to the circuit, the output voltage changes in response to applied forces. By applying known loads and measuring the response from the sensor, one can create a load versus output curve. This is referred to as the calibration curve. Calibration is the process of teaching a sensor to interpret and output an understandable physical value, like weight in pounds or displacement in inches etc. Load cells have very low sensitivity, usually of the order of just 10 to 20 millivolts change in response to an applied voltage of 10 volts. If purchased standalone, load cells come with only a nominal millivolt per volt value shown here as 1.8147 millivolts per volt. Please note that you must calibrate these load cells prior to use to get the exact calibration value. Load cells can be calibrated in compression or tension or universal modes. These forces are also referred to commonly as push, pull, or push and pull forces. If ordered as a part of a kit with digital interfaces, the load cells come pre-calibrated from the factory. The calibration is performed using a utility that is available in LoadView Pro, SensorView and ControlView software. You can use this software to recalibrate the sensor as needed after the purchase. The calibration must be added as a service at the time of purchase in order to make sure the sensor is usable out of the box. During the calibration process, we apply physical inputs and gather output levels, then fit a linear, quadratic or cubic curve to it. Calibration coefficients are burned into the unit. This teaches the sensor to interpret the raw data and present meaningful values in physical units such as pounds, kilograms or newtons. We use NIST traceable references, either dead weights or calibrated test equipment to perform calibrations, so that you can be sure that the values shown are trustable. Although we are not ISO certified, we meet or exceed most standards and make sure every sensor we ship meet or exceed the stated specifications. We provide calibration certificates that show the date of calibration, references used, NIST traceability information, applied and computed loads, and error as a percentage of full scale to help you meet or exceed your quality requirements. During analog calibration, we apply physical inputs and gather voltage levels, then fit a linear curve to it. The pound slash volt value is calculated and shown on the calibration certificate. Since this is a simple linear fit, the accuracy depends on the linearity of the load cell. Our digital interfaces are capable of linearizing curves and hence offer better accuracies. The accuracy from the analog calibration in your application will depend on the resolution and math abilities of your PLC or data acquisition system. On any load cell product page on our website, you can build your order parametrically. One of the steps requires you to pick a calibration service. If you order a resistive load cell only, then they are shipped with a nominal millivolt per volt value without any formal calibration. You are supposed to calibrate the load cell with a signal conditioner, data acquisition system or display before use. Please note this at the time of placing an order. If you would like us to calibrate the load cell by itself, without any interface, then pick the service starting with ACAL-MV. Select star C01 for compression only, star C02 for tension only, or star C03 for both. For calibrating load cells over 10,000 pounds, use SKUs that begin with ACAL-MV-HC. When you are adding calibration with an analog interface, 
then you select the SKUs that begin with ACAL. For calibrating load cells over 10,000 pounds we add the characters HC to the SKU, so you will use SKUs that begin with ACAL-HC. When you are calibrating a load cell with a digital interface then you select the SKUs with decal. For calibrating load cells over 10,000 pounds, use SKUs that begin with decal-HC. So if you are calibrating a universal 1,000 pound load cell with a USB interface, you'd select decal star C01 for compression only, decal star C02 for tension only or decal star C03 for universal calibration. The calibration is performed using a utility that is available in LoadView Pro, SensorView and ControlView software. You can use this software to recalibrate the sensor as needed after the purchase. The calibration must be added as a service at the time of purchase in order to make sure the sensor is usable out of the box. We offer recalibration services at very reasonable prices. You can buy a recalibration service from our website or contact us with your load cell serial number to get a formal quote. Visit LoadStarZensors.com forward slash calibration to get details about the calibration and recalibration services we offer. Please contact us for further information. We would love to hear from you.